Truth, the God from Full Metal Alchemist, and Anti-Spiral, the self-appointed king from Gurren Lagann. When these two universal constants collide, galaxies will be thrown and the bangs will be big. I'm the super noob, and it's my job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. TM. Wait, just what is this thing? I'm so glad you asked. I'm the world. I'm, I'm the universe. universe. I'm God. I am truth. I am all. I am one. And I am also you. Ah yes, truth. The indifferent god of Full Metal Alchemist. The universe of Full Metal Alchemist is governed by alchemy and the law of equivalent exchange. To receive something, you must give up something of equal value. So by creating a transmutation circle, you can fix that broken radio, given enough skill and knowledge. Alchemy is not all powerful though. Fixing an appliance with the necessary parts is one thing, but what about life? Well, Ed and Al learned the hard way that some protein powder you bought at GNC isn't equivalent to your mother's freaking soul. You have to cut them some slack, though. This happened before WikiHow was invented. Truth is a metaphysical being that comes to all that attempt human transmutation. Ed, having survived the ritual, was met with his all-knowing doppelganger. Sometimes the truth hurts, and other times it throws you behind a gate containing all knowledge of what was, is, and will be. With this newfound knowledge gained from his time behind the gate, Ed was able to attach the soul of his brother into a suit of armor before losing him for good. Alchemy has many applications, including creating weapons, causing explosions, burying things alive, creating chimeras. Okay, this whole alchemy thing is pretty brutal, but this is not the full story, however. Alchemy is the scientific and ruthless form of magic developed by Father, a homunculus powered by hundreds of thousands of souls residing as a philosopher's stone. This same ritual that created Father's Philosopher's Stone also granted Hohenheim an immortal body which he used to create Alkahestry, a softer, more humane, medicinal version of alchemy. You have to remember, alchemy is just a facet of the universe of FMA. Neither good nor bad, it just is. But with Father ruling over Amistris as a dictator, you can expect most applications of alchemy to result in death and destruction. Unsatisfied with his Philosopher's Stone and his very own nation to play with, Father would complete the largest act of human transmutation to reach godhood. By sacrificing millions of Amestrians, Father ripped open the gate of truth and absorbed God. In this form, God can create sons from nothing, cancel all attacks thrown at him, all while looking great doing it. Basically, think of developer mode in Minecraft, or for us millennials, Rosebud in The Sims. This was only a fraction of the power Father wielded, having all of creation at his fingertips. The fact is, truth scales to everything seen in the show, and more. How could anyone step to such an incomprehensible foe? The path to hell is paved with good intentions, so why let any life have free will in the first place? This is Anti-Spiral the uncontested universal ruler of Gurren Lagann. That is, until they came face to face with a boy and his trusty and tasty pig mole, Buta. All natural born life in the world of Gurren Lagann is imbued with the power of the spiral. In order to maximize its power, species undergo evolution to higher forms, forms that can harness spiral energy more efficiently. Although it is implied that humans are the logical endpoint of this evolution, this is by no means a cap to the power someone can possess. If you have enough willpower and if you The sky is the limit, until you drill a hole right through that too. Left unchecked, spiral power will become so great that life forms will lose control of this energy, thus creating galaxies. I mean that literally, literal galaxies. This might sound, as the kids call it, based but these spontaneous galactic formations will continue to grow and crash into one another, ultimately leading to the formation of a universal singularity, a black hole that will consume everything, the spiral nemesis, or as the kids call it, cringe AF. To avoid this future, the anti-spiral destroyed its species' sense of individuality, creating a hive mind to, sus to suppress, God, <laughs> to suppress its own progress down the path all spiral life take. The spiral warriors they once called allies were now threats to the very universe and were summarily defeated by the anti-spiral. These guys are no pushovers either. 
Lord Genome alone was a powerful general who even in retirement had access to a spaceship the size of the moon. A spaceship that when transformed can do this. Don't ask me why they look like that, but these beings were casually able to chuck planets and escape a long time itself. But did this help them in the end? The anti-spiral scale way higher than that. Having full dominion over a pocket universe, it created between the 10th and 11th dimensions. Just go with it. In their battle with Team Gurren, the anti-spiral were seen throwing galaxies like Shuriken, were impervious to damage due to their probability alteration, and even created a big bang to take down Simon and his crew. In the second Gurren Lagan movie, a retelling slash newly animated version of the show, the anti-spiral instantly matched Team Gurren's final transformation, Super Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan. To call it a mech at this point is almost a crime, as the energy created in its body is pure, unfiltered spiral energy. Even with this friendship power-up, the anti-spiral easily stopped the universe-sized Giga Drill Breaker with its own. It's no surprise that all of their life forms were either crushed or resigned to their fates at the hand of the anti-spiral, when they not only hold all the cards, but can change the chance of you winning. And even if you do somehow manage to win a hand, they'll just throw this at you for your troubles. When I say ruler of the universe, I mean that literally. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> One name you might have for me is the world, or you might call me the universe, or perhaps God, or perhaps the truth. I am all, and I am one. <laughs> This despair is reserved for the boastful. Did you truly think you'd become superior to humans by removing your seven desires? <laughs> you simply must have seen the answer with your own eyes. KO! So, did you see that one coming? Before any of you power scaling nerds want to come at me, please put down your abacuses and X out of Wolfram Alpha. Not all problems can be solved with math. If you watch the shows and dissect the themes of these stories, you'll find your answer. Even though both shows have wildly different tones, they share many themes and messages. Themes of mortality, divinity, and the human condition are waved in your face unabashedly. What too many fans of Gurren Lagann get wrong is that Simone and the Anti-Spiral are not gods. And to say otherwise is missing the point entirely of their characters. Simone, even after defeating the Anti-Spiral, does not bring back his fallen allies. All the events leading up to this point, including this clip, were the results of human action. Humanity is capable of the impossible. You just have to believe. When Kamina says, believe in yourself, believe in the you who believes in yourself, he's literally pointing at the audience. I don't know how they can make it any clearer. Why can't you use that power to bring Nia back? And not just her, all the other people we lost. Sorry, but Simon isn't God, gimme. Oh damn, actually no, that's way clearer. Simon was always a human and accepted the world as it is. Personal failures, death, the passing of the torch, these were all things he freely accepted. What he didn't accept were the fates imposed on him by would-be kings. The anti-spiral, by extension, is just a mortal entity scared of the truth, of the world it lives in, afraid that its own emotions are getting in the way of its goals. An entity that sees all other life as worthless ants, which lack its divine judgment. It parades itself around with a self-appointed crown, locking away other life forms like some kind of king, while it sits atop a throne made of the bones of their victims. Both Father and the Anti-Spiral saw themselves as greater than humanity, and that was their undoing. Why did you refuse to join me? Why, God? Did you truly think you'd become superior to humans by removing your seven desires? 
Don't make me laugh. I'm the truth of your despair. The inescapable price of your boastfulness. <laughs> Humans who would dare to play God must pay a steep price for their arrogance. You were incapable of believing in yourself. Holy shit. They... <laughs> they just said the thing. They literally said the thing. Truth is not meant for any one being to possess for itself. Truth is everything. It is what we call divine. And to try to control it is to reject who you are. By chasing the truth, you are ironically rejecting what you are seeking. Funnily enough, out of both series, Ed has the greatest feat out of any character, and that was to bring back the dead without sacrificing anything. Even Simon wasn't considering doing something so brash. Ed sacrificing his door of truth and foregoing his ability to perform alchemy was akin to making him human. Nothing changed except he got what he really wanted. He got his brother back. To lower yourself to a simple human? What do you mean, lower myself? That's the only thing I've ever been. Just a simple human that couldn't save a little girl. Not even with alchemy. If you still aren't convinced, let's play devil's advocate a little bit. The anti-spiral intuits the ritual to absorb truth, as father had done. Then what? Well, the anti-spiral is certainly powerful enough to hold in that much energy. They wouldn't be destabilized as easily as father was. All life, all knowledge, bundled up into one being. What was once shared among all life is now residing in one. A singularity, if you will. As infinite mass and energy are drawn into an infinitely small space, a black hole will form. This too will disappear at some point, and all you will be left with is truth. Hey, thanks for watching. If you stuck around this much, please like, subscribe. I need this. Okay, bye.